here at the immigration office. Yeah, extension in a month. You can get the six months because it's expired. Hello, it's Ralph and Len again. Good morning. It's Monday, December 19. And we're here to talk about the... We're, we're just here to share an, uh, our... Migration. <laughs> experience. <laughs> okay. For me. For his um, extension here in the Philippines. So? Well, start out with... It was a, an adventure getting here from the States. Starting from getting the tickets, the money to go with the tickets, get the passport. Uh, you got to do get to the airport, everything all there. Once you finally get on the plane, fly over here that 22 hour ride. Is it just 22? Uh, 22 just to Hong Kong, and another hour and a half to get here. Then you got to go through Im immigration when you get to the airport, check in and everything. That I'll take care of. I mean, uh, because I'm unvaccinated, I, they had to set me up, and I had to show that I was set up in a hotel. I used to stay for five days and be quarantined. After the quarantine, we're back over here uh, with my fiance at the time, and we plan our wedding, which was a little fun at first. But we we managed to find where we could get a pastor because we wanted a pastor. Uh, for our wedding, because she's Catholic and I'm non-denominational, we're both Christians. We managed to find where we could hire a pastor, get the uh, marriage certificate through the uh, local um, city First, hall. Yeah. And once we got that, uh, we went, got married on the 19th, which is today is our anniversary, one month anniversary. Just before that, we had to go down for our first extension. Okay, first, first off, when did you arrive here? Well, that was in October 6th. Okay, October 6th. So you were given a free 29 days of stay here in the Philippines. Yes. Visa free. Uh, Visa okay. free. So what are the steps that uh, we had to go through for your extension? Uh, at the time, we had to go down to Im uh, immigration. Okay. Another 29 okay. days, yes. So that was 3,000 pesos to get that extension. You know, all the paperwork, you gotta make sure you bring your passport and everything with you, your birth certificate. Um, and okay, let me add something. He, uh, we didn't go to the main office in Manila. We just went to the satellite office in SM North. And I suggest if you're not too, uh, if you're pressed for time, then might as well go to the satellite office because it's not crowded. Processing is fast, less than an hour. Okay, more than an hour because we had to wait for the documents. Once like they, one and a half hour. Once you pay maximum. for it, they got to wait for the documents. Once right. you pay for it, because they're going to process it, uh, they they will ask you to uh, return after an hour for the. And pick them up. Yeah, yeah, to pick up to pick the. So we paid three thousand one hundred plus for the. Okay. And all that is is just a little piece of paper with a receipt. That's yeah, all it, it is. It's just a first time certification around. that um, Ralph is not uh, doesn't have any criminal records and he's free to stay here. And the receipt, the the receipt that you have paid for, you have to keep it. That's very important. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. And the next uh, extension is until December five. So we went there again December five. But then we don't have the the certification and the receipt because Ralph misplaced it. I didn't say lost it. <laughs> misplaced it. Oh, I didn't. I did. It was you misplaced it. But I got blamed. <laughs> it's always the man, you know. It's always the man. Okay. Day or so, so later, we found it. Yeah. And then we went back, but we were prepared to pay for the penalty, fine. the fine for um, late, late, Being late. Yeah. So the. The penalty is the 15. fee is one five, so we were supposed to apply for a six months extension, 
because that was, that's what they told us when we first uh, got the first extension. On the second extension, we can already apply for the six months extension. But then, since we applied late, they had to update his records, and we were given another. We were just given another month. So after one month, we had to go back and file for the six months extension. Now I'm going to throw in there one other thing. That's fifteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred pesos for each month. Uh, going back, so we weren't allowed to have his extension. Uh, his stay here extended for six months. We're only given more than a month. Two months, about a month. Almost two months, yes. Yeah. So when uh, so the amount is like nine thousand one hundred plus because we have to pay for the ACR. That's the ID that he needs to have and the uh, uh, one thousand five hundred penalty and five hundred for the processing of the ID. So while we were paying on the cashier, so we were, the, the, the guy told us that uh, while waiting for the, while we still, he still has the two, two months extension, why don't you apply for the permanent resi resident visa for him already? The processing for the permanent resident visa is uh, would take two to three months. The requirements for if you're going to apply for a um, permanent resident visa for your spouse, uh, a medical certificate. He needs to have a medical clearance, NBI clearance, the marriage certificate uh, certified by, uh, from the PSA, not from the city hall. So they need the certificate from the PSA and, of course, the uh, application form. Set. So basically, it's, not, it's just when I want you to do that, you got to pay your, um, you might have, is this, but then that time waiting for that one, you're gonna still have to do probably another extension because for being, processing. Yeah, for processing. So you're gonna you might have another extension. So just do another month if you have to. I mean, if you get really lucky, things move fast. Just to add to that permanent resident visa, once it's approved, you will only be given one year probation. Probationary, yeah. And then after that, if he's a good boy, then he'll be given five years. I'm not 100 percent sure after the five years what what goes on from there. If it yeah. just renews automatically, you got to just go down the next years. Yeah, so we're doing it one step at a time. We're still the number one is to get his uh, resident visa here, and then we'll go. The next step will be my visa to the United States. I'm not in a hurry though. No, so. <laughs> you can't, you can't be in a hurry. You got to do one thing at a time. Yeah, that's. I mean, if doing. I get mine all settled, we're we're gonna just waiting for the you know the paperwork to come to me then we can go from there on to hers mm -hmm. so take it one step at a time take your time don't be yep. in a hurry don't be stressed don't be stressed and get gray hairs like me <laughs> uh, and just enjoy your time there with her your new wife or husband and then uh yeah if you're and, not really oh marriage is for not, life anyhow. he's not he's not in a hurry we're not in a hurry because He's retired. He doesn't need to go back there no. to do some work. Uh, but I'm still working here. I'm working from home. So oh, that's what's nice about her. She works from home. Yeah. She she can take her job wherever she goes in the entire exactly. world. It's little anywhere, it's Russia, everywhere. So. That's our um, version. version of, of we're not being able to do it. The process that we're the steps that we're making it will not be applicable to everyone. No. But uh, this is just for those who are not really in a hurry. I mean, like for us, he's 59 and 52. So, yeah, we're just taking it slow. We're uh, doing it in our own sweet time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Um, this might not be applicable for everyone, but it's just uh, our opinion. So you might want to check on the Bureau of Immigration side as well to check on your status but for those who has the same um, status as us then probably this might work for you so that's it yeah. that's our uh, two cents on the immigration extension so thank you again I'm Mitchell this is Wal and we are the Jeez. Jeez. bye thank you Thank you.